What's going on, Doc and fam? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the things that we like and we don't like about the new update that just came to Global. Because as amazing as it is, there are a few things that kind of irritate me. And we'll get to that. <laughs> so we got update 3.13.1 information. Let's click on that really quick. And yes, I announced in my L. Uh, Beerus summon video that I just posted that I would be allowing my Doc and Fam to take up those 30 extra friend slots. And I will be revealing how you can enter to be, uh, for a chance. It's really easy. It's not really like a contest or anything. But I will explain to you guys how you can enter your information or your friend code to be on my friends list. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not by commenting down below on this video. So anybody who comments their friend code down below, you're wasting your time. So make sure you pay attention to where you're supposed to put it. So let's get right in here, guys. So I know, obviously, we, we've seen many videos about this right now. I mean, I'm a couple days late to the game. That's why I'm going to be talking more about the things I like and don't like versus going over every single thing. Um, but let's just start from the top. So we get the renewal of the summon animation. Now, I, I feel like there's not one person in the entire universe or 250 million people that have downloaded this game that's upset about this, right? <laughs> I mean, we've been having the same boring summon animations for so long. And now, I mean, I feel like this even breathes new life into the friend summons. Because friend summons are boring as hell because you know what you're going to get for units. Um, you're not going to get anything really good if you already have LR, Android, Hercule, and Saiyaman 1 and 2. So it's like, whenever you have to do friend summons, you're just like, meh, friend summon. But now we have the opportunity to take advantage of all these other fun animations, which I think is really cool and was very smart of them to do that, to kind of breathe life into the game. Um, applied mass quantity selling and exchange function. Guys, this was probably one of my favorite things that was added to this game. Um, being that I am a whale, as you guys know, I do a lot of summoning, okay? And when you do, like, a thousand stones, when you have to go to your box and clear it out, all the units you don't need, it's a huge pain in the butt to do it ten at a time. Also, and we'll go to the Baba shop later, if you're trying to get rid of items that you never use, and you're trying to sell them in the Baba shop, if you get, like, a hundred of those, like, capsule health bars or whatever they're called, and you're trying to get rid of them, to get rid of 100, you have to submit 10 times because you only can sell 10 at a time. So that was getting to be really, really frustrating. So adding this feature, I think, is amazing. And like I said, we'll go to the Baba shop. Um, added filter on the select friend page. Hands down, one of the best things they could have ever done to the game. We saw it in JP. We're so happy for this. And especially now with the World Tournament here, we can take advantage of this big time. And I will show you that too, so stay tuned. Um, I'll show you the team that I use in the World Tournament right now, and I'll show you what I do when I select my friends. Um, increased maximum number of friends. We already talked about that. Applied friend support or function. This is an amazing function to have, especially if you play docking with a lot of your friends. You know, it really stinks when, when your friends need a unit, but you're grinding an event where you can't have that friend, you can't have that specific unit as your current lead. This is going to allow you to choose any single unit that you want as your lead so that as you're going about your business, your friends can still use your account and you can still help them out. Uh, modified scroll location setting on certain pages. Um, okay. I mean, that's, that's really good when you're going back and forth between looking at units because nothing is more annoying than when you're looking at a unit and then you go back to the original page and it stats you back at the top. Super annoying. Uh, modified the function to remove selected characters on certain pages. When you are arranging your team members on the team page or choosing training partners, you can now remove a character by tapping the character icon. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's that's pretty simple. I mean, that's really small, but at the same time, um, it's really annoying to not be able to do that on that page. So I'm glad that they added that. Fix some bugs um, and adjusted user interface, blah, 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 blah. So lots of cool stuff, guys. Lots of cool stuff. Um, this right here was super important. You know, receiving an extra 180 character slots, that is, that is just amazing. Because if you're always tapping out and you have no room in your unit or your character list, 
Having to use Dragonstones all the time is not cool. Let's get out of here real quick. So, first let's go to the World Tournament. So, participate. I'm not going to fight the tournament. I'm just going to show you guys how I pick my team. So, right now, what's really great about this, right? All I do, because I run a Rose team, okay? As I go to Filter, and I get rid of Super Class. And if I do this... Nine times out of ten, I'm going to get all the roses I need. So I got three roses right here. I got a lot of um, AGL Majitas. I got um, Android 17, which is great. But lo and behold, whenever I do this, I always get at least three to five of the units I need. And, and the fact that they're guests and not friends just goes to show you that the system is really, you know, pulling from a big pool. I always felt like before... When I would do the World Tournament, especially trying to find a Rose friend to do this, it was just getting more and more difficult the more I played the game. But now, it just pops him right in. And guys, this is my World Tournament team. Um, a lot of you who are new to the World Tournament, you always ask, why do you have Chiaotzu? Um, I mean, Jocko and Chiaotzu. So, Jocko and Chiaotzu, these guys are stunners. They will stun the entire board. That's why they're there. And then we have, obviously, Rainbow LR Brawl League has the attack all feature. Raditz has the attack all feature. Um, <laughs> Fasha, pretty random. <laughs> but she can turn into a giant great ape, which can or can help you or can get annoying. Um, but her big thing right here, guys, is she changes int key spheres to strength key spheres, which is really good if you're trying to basically clear the board and get all as many red key spheres as possible for your Broly. Um, and with this lineup too, guys, um, Int Raditz usually always comes out with a full 12 key bar. It's pretty awesome. And then the reason why we have Rose as a lead is this obviously right here, Extreme Class Key Plus 3. So we want that Key Plus 3. That's what we're going for. And then if we go to the passive skill, Attack Plus 100% and Extreme, cla extreme Class Key Plus 3 at, at the start of turn. So you're getting a lot of key, and that's why I run my team like this. And as far as items... I use a Ghost Usher, and then I'll probably use, like, these three nah, these three right here. Just so I can change the orbs to whatever I need to get my max key for my Broly or uh, Raditz if I happen to need it, which you probably shouldn't. But anyway, so let's get out of there really quick. So that's what I really like about that feature. So being able to find the exact friend you need for the missions you're doing is a huge help. So now let's go to Team. And so now that we are in the World Tournament, I want to be a good friend to every single person in my friends list. So I am putting my Rainbow LR Broly as my friend at the top here. This feature, guys, this feature is incredible. Check this out. So you select, index, boom, friend supporter, and he's going to show up at the top right here. So every single one of my friends that's doing the World Tournament, if they don't have a strong Whirly who can basically kill everybody in one shot, they can use mine. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, and then let's go over to the exchange. And then after I do this, I'm going to show you guys what I don't like about the update. So whenever you're exchanging for items, guys, it gets to be a huge pain in the butt. So obviously for characters, pretty self-explanatory. You can just click as many characters as you want now. You're not limited to 10. I'm not selling these, but just showing you, you know, you can pick up to 99, which is awesome. And then when it comes to the items... These items right here, the recovery drinks, you will never, ever use these. You'll probably never, ever use this as well. Um, but you want to sell these items. You want to get rid of these items. I mean, to be honest, the only items I use out of everything I have right here is Sensu Beans, maybe a Dende. Um, I definitely use the Parars and Oolongs. Uh, what else do I use? I use the Ghost Usher. I use the King Yama. Uh, and then I use Future Bulma, and the, yeah, so basically these ones down here. Everything else, I really don't need. Like this guy right here, I never use this. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna use this. But if I want, I can just go, I can sell them all right now if I wanted to. Look at that. 491 points. Now, if I had to do this 10 at a time, like, I just, I just wouldn't even do it, which is why I haven't. So I'm probably gonna clean this out later. So that's really cool to be able to do that. And now for the thing that I don't like. And it's actually a combo of something I like and I don't like. But before we do this, if you want to be on my friends list, this is what you have to do to enter. You have to go down in the info section below or the pinned comment and click the link 
to my doc and forums. It's going to bring you to this page and you're going to make a free gold profile on my website. It's free to make. And for those of you who don't know, I created the doc in forums on my website so that we could help you with your team building or, or event clearing. But what you're going to do is click that link and it's going to bring you to a page where you're going to be able to enter your friend code. And the first 30 people to do it are going to be the ones who are going to be on my friends list. So pause the video really quick, go do this, and then come right back to see what I absolutely hate about this update. So check it out. All right, clean that up. So hopefully you paused the video and did that, and now you're back. <laughs> so this is what I don't like about the update, guys. Obviously, you guys know me. Uh, I'm a grinder. I like to grind out events. I like to grind out medals. I'm working on my LR Great Saiyan Man right now. So let's click on Great Saiyan Man. Now, there's two things that changed here that I don't think a lot of people really realized. Um, number one, you could never see the card that shows up here. It would be a blank space. So now that you get to see what the unit turns into, I think is pretty cool. And you can click on it and you can see what it does and see all the stats. I think that's really cool. But what I don't like is you can no longer put medals in one at a time. See right here, I put both medals in. Whenever you're doing a dock and awakening, it will not let you put medals in one at a time. Now, you might be saying, well, Scott, why is that a problem? Why do you hate that so much? Well, I just, for me, I like to have like completion goals and it, it's like a mental thing. Like it, to, if like, for example, this is only five at a time, which is fine. But let's say you were grinding out like LR Goku Black, okay? And you just finished grinding 77 medals for one of these slots. You really want to go here and you want to click on it and then you want to be able to lock that medal in to have some sort of feeling of accomplishment because you just spent almost an hour and a half grinding one single event to get 77 medals. You know what I mean? So I, I, this is something that I really don't like about the update. I hope they fix this. And I don't know if it's just a glitch because... If I were to click on, say, Beerus, I can I can awaken at any point in time. See, the, the button shows up. So I don't know why they did it just for docking units. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know, but I, I hope they fix that because to me it's kind of annoying. So that's that, guys. And then, like I said, <laughs> I was um, I was hovering. My, my maximum slots was 555. So now that I'm up to 735, <laughs> that's really nice. I'm enjoying that. And then how about we uh, we end this video with a single pull on the Rising Carnival Dragon because like I said in the beginning, one of the coolest things about this update is the fact that we have new summon animations. So let's see if we can get a really cool one. All right, Goku's here. Oh my god! <laughs> Like, yeah, let's see if we get a cool summon animation. We get zero. We just get Goku. That's such bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. I can't even believe that just happened. <laughs> and we get an Android friggin' 16. Oh, it's terrible. That's so terrible. Uh, we'll do one more. <laughs> oh, man. I can't even do another one. I don't have any stones. <laughs> he didn't have any friends both times. He didn't even go Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> sorry about that, Doc and fam. But we are now out of stones, so there will be no more summoning. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Uh, and if you want to see some live streaming of the World Tournament, comment below and let me know because I'd be more than happy to chill with you guys. We can even rock the World Tournament together, right? There's no reason why we can't hang out on live chat. While I'm doing the tournament, you guys can be playing as well. Uh, so like I said, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you put your friend code. Go to the dock and forums. Put your friend code there. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.